it wasn't fuck Billy. It's the same energy well, that, that Anthony, came off that Anthony used. That's the only reason why I called in today. When we called you CSI, it was the same energy that I used that with. That's the energy I used your name with. Was the same energy with thank you, Bill, for saying I'm on fucking satellite. And right, and the reason I said thank you on that show the way I did is cause exactly what he did. It was over. Well, I don't know, Patrice, is it's funny how you somehow didn't trash me, but everybody took it that way, and people came to my fucking show saying that you trashed me. Well, what did they say you, I said, Bill? They basically said, like, yo, what happened between you and Patrice? Yeah. And I, what did you say? Yo, can I fucking finish? What did you say? Can I finish, Patrice? Go ahead. They, they come up to me. Okay, first of all, I got, like, 30 fucking emails calling me a dick, and I'm not loyal to the show, and I don't have your back. I got 30 of those fucking emails, and then I get like 10 listeners on the Friday night show going, what the fuck happened between you and Patrice? And I go, he was fucking around, right? And they go, no, he kind of sounded like he was serious. Okay, so you got secondhand fucking information. Yeah, 50 fucking What did people. they say I said, Bill? That trashed you. They said that you said I didn't have your that fuck. I don't know exactly word for fucking word, but they well, said. Well, get the fucking you exact get word for word, Bill. Shut the fuck up for two seconds. I get 30 fucking word. emails, and I got 10 guys coming up to me. I mean, they all heard it the wrong fucking way. What the fuck did they say I said? Oh, I, oh, you know what? They didn't have a fucking stenographer there to read exactly. it exactly back. But so, really, so whatever you know, vibe you put so up. That's all what fucking saying. courtrooms have a but stenographer, you, Billy, or it ain't court. Is, so if you put me you on, put on trial for those you fucking out, fans Patrice, that turned on you for their own reasons, get yourself a fucking stenographer, Bill. Go get one. Patrice, whatever, you know, dude, whatever vibe you put out there, all I'm saying is I'm responding to that shit. All right, the vibe. All right, well, Billy, I'm sorry for the vibe. I put out there, dude. Hey, dude and I, I'm sorry. I apologize. You didn't want to do that I apologize. I apologize. And then blamed it on I me. I apologize for the vibe. I apologize for you getting swept up in the shit. The, I'm going to tell you now, on the air, that energy was towards Mankow and what he did. It wasn't towards you, Billy. So I apologize. I apologize. I hope you have some of these fans who heard it and heard me put out a fucking vibe. Accept the apology. Hello? Yeah, I'm still here. Well, I mean, Patrice is pissed off that, you know, Man Cow was such a wimp and didn't give him a chance to, you know, go at him. Dude, and you know something? I 100% support the guy in that. That guy is like, that Man Cow dude, he's a total fucking control freak. He's one of those guys, you walk in, and the first thing he has to do is he has to knock you down because you got some TV credits or whatever. Like, like, the second I walked in, this is the first thing he said to me. I come walking into the studio... They're doing their show, and I, I kind of, like, whispered to, like, one of the dudes there, because, you know, the mics were on, and I go, hey, man, get, get me some headphones. And he goes, yeah, don't worry, superstar, we'll get you some cans. Yeah, uh, oh, shit. So, right cunt. That, so this is my head, right? Look, I'm not taking any, I'm not taking anyone's side, but I want to help Bill out a little bit, just because, you know, it, it sounds like Bill was in a tough spot to begin with. Dude, and he had seven fucking, he's got this rapping Mexican, right? He's got this guy who's got a book. He had some, the lead singer from one of those NXS shows. He had his third mic guy, the hot intern, some loud guy, and then there's me. There's fucking seven of us on the fucking mic. And this dude, every two seconds, is grabbing, he's on the mixing board, bringing all our fucking mics down, his shit up. He is like... I've heard many times that this guy does all these little tricks. Yeah, dude, like, he he'll turn your fucking mics down, because he has to be the most important person in the room at all times. Howard does the same fucking shit. Dude, so, and then he's one of these guys, and he, like, at the end of the fucking show, he's going to me, uh, he's going, um, so, so, Bill, so the Schfeld show's off the air, yeah, you know, so your career is basically over, right? And then I'm, you know, I'm fucking, oh. I'm like, all right, this guy's a dick, ha ha, laugh, and I go, no, dude, I got an HBO special, and he's like, oh, yeah, did it air yet? I go, yeah, it aired back in September, he goes, yeah, I haven't seen it. I'm like, well, it's doing great things to me, man, Cal. It's like, whatever, you, you, you're, you're being, and then I swear to God, the second he gets off the air, then, then he's like a fucking, he's like a little puppy coming up to you. Like, oh, did you have a good time? Was everything, you know, have a good time? And all phony like, fucking yeah, ass. Yeah, I had a great time. Oh, Whatever. I hate that phony shit. Yeah, I mean, it was that shit. So, it's like, the only reason why I laughed when he hung up on Patrice is because 
he did it in such like like uh, like kind of like a seller. Like I'm just being an over the top dick. So when I called Patrice back and he was saying man cow was a dick, I'm just laughing the way I would laugh at another comedian. I wasn't gonna call you guys up and go. You know, Patrice bombed on that show, blah, blah. I wasn't going to do any of that shit. And then I'm fucking out there the next day. <clears throat> I got to do Man Cow again because, you know, that's my shit. I'm working at Zany's. They're sending me. I got to do the fucking media, right? And then I come home and there's, there's all this shit I'm on my fucking website saying, Patrice, fucking, uh, you didn't have Patrice's back. You did this to Patrice. You did that to Patrice. You yeah, did this Patrice to Patrice. Patrice never said that. I think part of the reason is there's such a hatred between... Uh, o and A and Man Cow that the fans because I think if it happened on another show that wouldn't have been like the fans wouldn't have reacted. Yeah, all much. our fans know how much we hate uh, that douche, that phony ass. So I guess they were hope. So I guess they were hoping, knowing that Patrice was in a bad spot and you were in studio, that maybe they were hoping that you were gonna really just go at it. And but well, I'll be honest, when I first heard it, because and it wasn't the way Patrice said it. He didn't tell me at all that Bob oh, Billy fucked me. He didn't. He didn't say that at all. He he, he just kind of told me what happened. And when you're calling into a radio show, especially a hostile one like that, I mean, it, it's a tough phone call. And yeah. then you got a friend in studio. And you feel my first thought was like, "Fuck man, why didn't Bill go to bat for him?" It wasn't Patrice didn't throw you under the bus when we were talking. He didn't say, "Bill, fuck me." He just told me what happened. Yeah, we'll help uh, free radio today. Uh, someone get a hold of Man Cow and and uh, we'll we'll put this challenge out. Let Patrice talk on your fucking radio show. Yeah, let's see how how good you really are at this and talk radio time, shit. I'll have a good time talking, but you know, it's like okay, me and me and Man Cow verbally. It's it's like going in there and it's like trying to have a boxing match, and, but but you can't wear all your equipment. Right. Because as soon as I go, man, Kyle, you're a this or man. I'm not gonna have a clever quit with this faggot. He knows what he did and he knows how he is. And he'll go, okay, he can't talk and blah blah blah. Fuck him. How could you fight with a guy that has a fake voice? That's what I'm talking about, <laughs> man. And, and well, let me tell you something. And, and it's like, <laughs> tell you a thing or two. I'm going to tell you a thing or two after this 20-minute commercial break. Exactly, dude. But it's like I'll have a fun time talking to him at any point that he wants to talk. And that's the story. That's the story <laughs> I was given, what that pussy did. But at the same time, to hear Bill, what before I was on the phone, say I was bombing. And Bill just explained how he was in studio. For a fucking whatever minute. I got to, some. To I, get a chance. All right, listen, to listen. Defend themselves. I got audio. It's like two minutes. I don't know if it's from our show or his show. I have no idea. I don't. Oh, it's uh, it's Man Cow show. Oh. All right, we got the actual audio. Really? Yes. Oh, we've got uh, Patrice on. Patrice, listen to this. Oh, 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 we got Patrice on. Patrice. Patrice. And he already hates you going into this. Oh, we've got uh, Patrice on. Patrice. Hey, 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 hey. The hell does he think this is? Hey. VH1? No. <laughs> they don't know this on VH1. They should. Do you know this guy, Bill? Oh, yeah. Oh. Yeah. Patrice. No, wait, wait. Hold on a minute. We got to give it a second or two before we put uh, Filthy on. Yeah. <laughs> so obvious. Uh, before we put Filthy on. <laughs> what a douchebag. See, that, that's what All right, I'm going to explain. I'm talking about, like, well, it's well, like well it, it started off bad, and when I said that satellite radio shit, I was try I, that in my mind that was a fucking joke. And, and the second I said that shit, I was like, ah, that was like me saying fucking Pepsi at a Coke convention because well, now he's gonna fucking snap even more. Right. So and, uh, let, know, me, let me let me. When I called up today and said that you were bombing, I was just trying to give you shit back because I, I, you know, because. I, I felt like, you know, the shit I was reading and all the crap on my fucking website, I'm like, there's no way this dude didn't fucking throw me to the dogs because these, this fucking, the response I'm on my site is, like, ridiculous. I even said it twice on their show, on, on o a show, is, look, I don't even want to, I don't want to put Billy in no funny shit. When, and that, and that, it, this, that's the thing, it was about Man Cow. So the, the, the way the story was taken, the energy that was, look, man, it, it, look, it is what it is. And, I, look, I don't want you to be in no fucking spot. I called Opie the other day, oh, man, I hope this motherfucking shit don't put Billy in a fucking shitty spot. I just don't want it to happen like that. It, it, it's, it's a man cow thing. And you happen to be there, unfortunately. And you happen to open your big fucking mouth, unfortunately. All right, let's listen to the audio. <laughs> I like let I let my big fucking All right, hold on. We got the audio. So let's see if you opened your big mouth, okay? All I want to do here is set it up where obviously Patrice was on hold listening to Man Cow's show. He dumped. 
he does. No, I know. I'm going to explain. I know exactly what happened. Something funny was happening as Patrice was on the phone. So when they finally went to Patrice, Patrice gave an honest uh, comment and said, wow, that was some funny shit. Forgot that, it, you know, you're just talking normally like you do. And that's why they dumped. And you know, Patrice wasn't trying Patrice. to start any trouble. He was like, oh, wow, that was funny shit. Yeah. Or whatever he said. So obviously, if you're on free radio, you got to dump that crap out. He hits the dump button. That takes seven min uh, seven seconds away, I, I, I would guess. And during that time, that's when I go, hey, come on, Patrice, this isn't satellite radio. All right, wait, we're going to listen. Now we're going to pick up the tape. All right.